Hey guys, I'm continuing my Muggles campaign because you guys seem super interested in it, or maybe you're just interested in flaming me for being so suboptimal. Whichever the case may be, I'm going to be continuing my campaign. Kind of just going around and seeing who can attack over here. Surprisingly, we, I thought I would have more CBs, and the game does not seem to be handing out CBs as freely as I would have liked. But I do have some CBs on this guy, so maybe I go attack him. Where was I on the institution? That's a good question as well. Did I start devving? No. Let's get military six, so I don't want to fall behind, but we got a dev soon. And it looks like this guy's getting destroyed right now. Maybe I go over there. Okay, no claims again. What is my problem? Okay, I can get some claims. But he's already getting siege. I don't want to play the siege game where, you know, half siege by one nation, half siege by another. So let's just go attack this guy up here, Ladaka. Sure, I'm saying that right. And then I think we're, gonna, we're just going to go to war with this guy. Of course, we're uh, fighting Delia once again, but we just need to get Delia out real quick, and that'll be a shorter truce for him, I guess. Go to stab event. Maybe I can stab up first. It's always nice to do. Then you can get to max stab. I'm going to keep sieging. I want Delia to leave as soon as possible, so I don't need to, like, you know, keep him hiding in the war for very long or anything like that. Gosh dang it, I didn't mean to attack there. No! Okay, I made it, I made it. Sometimes 5 speed gaming, you, things happen real fast. you got to be on the ball. Crazy, he only has one fort. I'm sieging almost everything, but he won't leave. Until I guess I siege his actual fort. Whatever. Oh wait, I don't have his capital either, never mind. Okay. We'll siege those two things, I guess. And maybe we start fabricating signs with this, like, gouge. It's probably not how you say it, but you know what I mean. You, you know what I mean. Also, we might want to attack over here once those wars are settled. Maybe we hold off on ideas? Uh, maybe. Maybe we just hold off on ideas for a bit so we can start devving. We could probably start devving ASAP. Yeah, I think so. Let's let's do that. Let's let's dev in here. We're we're gonna Did I move my capital back to my trade capital here? I don't think I did, I think I forgot. Oh yeah, so you wanna move your trade capital back to Persia because the trade in the other nodes sucks. And they just like, you know, they move they move for you. But you don't wanna be there. I can't even find the trade map, guys. There <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think our, we're trading in yeah, we need to trade in Persia again. Try to remember to do that. Hopefully I remember to do that. So yeah, let's have a renewal with Thind and just we want a short truce, so we're not going to take money. But we need to start sieging out this stuff. We're going to move our trade capital there at the end of the war, and then we'll start debbing up a bit. I, I think that's a good call. Fire got caught there. Okay, we can also get more claims over here. The, this, these wars resolve, so we probably want to get over there soon before the Ottomans. So, for us, because the Ottomans certainly want to go in on that soon. I think I have a, quite a few claims now with that fabricate claim area. Yeah, I've got claims on a ton of land. Yeah, we're probably going to jump into that soon. Probably it's fine for me to fight without the Ottomans, but also the Ottomans would make it easier. Maybe I call them the Ottomans like late, but I kind of just want to get a path to the Mamluks too. That's what I'm thinking. All right, we need to find out where this other guy is. I guess we're marching over there. And I'm going to fight the Mamluks with the Ottomans now. Not what I wanted to do. Wait, we have Aquala. That's okay. That's a different guy. That's this guy. I get these two confused a lot. Of course, the AI is targeting me. That's like what they love. Their one true love is targeting the player. So I guess we have to respect that and send some guys over. Yeah, I just get annoyed how the AI targets the player hard. Why, why the Mamluks just get sieged out, I get sieged at the same time. Meanwhile, this guy won't go home. I kind of wish the AI had better calculations of, like, this war is doomed and would want white peace, like if the player would. Like, if you're if you're this guy, like, you just want out. You don't, you don't need to wait around for me to siege a province. It's hopeless. All right, so we're going to end this war, just grab full annexation and get some money. Camo, I... Yeah, I can't move my trade capital anytime soon because of this next war, which I don't want to be in. So we're just going to wait for this, I guess. Start resieging our provinces. At least getting besieged by Chagati. Or, or maybe it's Chagatai. Whichever whichever you prefer. So I might just say forget it. And yeah, I think I'm just going to go to war with this guy, even though I'm already in a war. Just because I feel like I'm wasting time sitting here. And I can just go attack this next guy. So I think I'm just going to go do that. What is this? Molten's opinion, at least a hundred. Let's find them. Why would I want him to have a... Whatever. I'm going to murder him later, but that's fine. Yeah, I fabricated a lot of claims on this guy. So, <laughs> that's nice. But I'm going to go ahead and probably... I'll probably go ahead and attack him now. So we're going to go declare war on Bora, that guy. Just jump into it. Get some guys over there. My stacks are really weird, so I kind of want to validate them into better stacks. But we'll get there. Officer's going for the Restoration Union, looks like. We'll creep on him a little bit from here. Oh, I actually have, like, full vision of Europe. Okay. I don't know why I thought I wouldn't be able to see all of Europe. Is this a mountain? Am I just attacking into a mountain? I usually do that over here. We are not attacking into the mountains this time. We do get a little paranoid about doing that. All right, and this, yeah, this, this guy could just kill off and end the war real fast. I'm not going to take him directly. Let's see if he wants to leave. No. We are saving our points to dev in a bit here. This guy should be out of the war soon, though. Okay, we're going to let this guy go, but first you're going to null treaties and money. 
Mamluks are getting wrecked by the Ottomans. Well, and other people, looks like. I need to stop the Mamluks or the Ottomans from expanding much. It's kind of what this war is partially about. I need to. I want to cut them off from this guy. That war's over. Yeah, I mean they got wrecked a little bit, but it's fine. I can't call him in unfortunately, because I would. I kind of want him to have a truce with the guy. Apparently he's in massive debt already. That's what the AI Ottomans does. When he's on your, you know, when he's your ally, you'll send him hyper debt. He makes sure he can never help you in a war. Just slowly siege you down. War's taking a while. Gotta siege down all the things. Question: You come to the aid of the conquest of? He's attacking who? I'm already at war with this guy. I'm confused. What just happened? This game's glitchy. Like I've never seen that. He tried to call me to the war that I'm already in, or what? Like, can you can you please explain what just what just happened, game? No, I gotta make it. Go, go, cut him off. Don't let him have a thing. Oh, he's gonna get stuff. I can't stop it. I mean, maybe I could stop it actually. Yeah, maybe I. I mean, yeah, I think I can somewhat stop him from expanding. But yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna try to do. That was really odd. I've never seen that where the it, they called me into war that I was already attacking the guy of. So weird. Let me know in the comments if you guys have ever seen something like that. Regency? Now, now I'm in a real Regency and I can't war, huh? No! Game, why? Wow. I hate that. Terrible RNG. Now I just can't war for four years. Well, I think I just have to... Yeah, I want to do this to, like, cut him off. Yeah, that, that even gives you a connection. Okay. So I'm gonna take... Just... I'm gonna try to cut the Ottomans off completely. Take this full surround on him. So that should be fine. A little bit of money. There we go. We got some nice border gore going around trying to get the full surround on him and we gotta deal with some rebels though of course it's kind of funny the full surround Ooh, he doesn't like that he does not like that maybe we improve relations no immediately immediately the alliance is over i guess we couldn't trust him guys at least we protected this guy we have protected this guy successfully the Ottomans just don't know what they're about to mess with here all right we're gonna start deving this province tear it but we need to move the trade capital here there we go they'll help with their trade and then let's encourage development and start devving it up. Let's see what the what's it at now. 94%, so it needs like one more click. There we go. Still get our next idea then. That's nice. And we'll start, of course, getting the institution sooner than later. I guess we can build spy network on the Ottomans now. That escalated fast. Uh cool. Cool game. Elephants are just too slow, guys. That's the problem. They just don't travel like horses, okay? Like, what is this? Hey, they give me a new ruler. It's kinda nice because I was being hostage to not go to war, but now I guess I'm out of that scenario. They felt bad for me. They're like, well, we know you want to go to war, so we're not going to hostage you. And they're right. I do want to go to war with Delhi. My stacks are terrible. I kind of want to fix them. What's this? Uh, that could be nice, yeah. Also, let's, yeah, let's fix our stacks a bit. Let's get, like, infantry in each one of these things. I don't know how I feel about getting many horses. Maybe, like, two horses per, per unit. So maybe I could, like, split these horses, you know, make these stacks a little better. Grab these guys and them over here already have horses here I'm trying to just make all my stacks have like a similar amount of guys so it's a little more clean i like clean stacks okay you guys already i just want two horses guys might, might disband a few horses here i'm just gonna do like a 12 2 for now so 14 guys each that feels a bit better i think we still have like a small mercenary group too we can get rid of yeah here it is let's grab that but, all right there we go i think i built over force limit also which was not intentional that's barely over force limit it's fine we got rebels coming into the whole nation, of course, that's just normal with this nation. It's like I need some armies to deal with the rebels. They're gonna be like, where are these guys? Oh, over there. I wanna attack Delhi. Yeah, once I get some more guys over here, I'm gonna just go ahead and attack Delhi. Maybe I like leave one group just for rebel hunting over there, probably. It's unfortunate that I have to do that, but it is the nation I'm playing. Maybe I should increase like the increase institution spread too. And eh, it's fine. I'll just wait. The states are just really awkward, so it's like not even ideal to do that. All right, well, I'm going to go to work, Ellie, and that should be fine. You got a new ally now. That's so annoying. And you realize to send. Okay, well, that's annoying, but I'm still going to have to war with him, I think. Yeah, I'm still going to go to war with him, regardless of his new ally situation. Although I do find it annoying. All right, I can grab this uh, aggressive expansion impact one here. Nice, nice. Maybe I should have got Sind out of the war first. It's kind of fun to go for this guy first, but whatever. Maybe I'll just send these guys over to deal with him. I don't want to leave these guys too isolated. I've learned that the territory here is very far away from each other. You gotta be careful. I have a lot of guys, too. I'm gonna need a lot of guys to respond. Especially if it goes for me. Of course, the rebels are coming, and I am... I don't know what the best play is here. Just, I'll just scream a little bit. Maybe I can get some mercenaries over there. I don't, I don't want that many guys, like these guys. Really, I don't want them... I don't want, like, a thousand mercenaries. Give me, like, a reasonable amount of guys. That's so expensive. Okay, this one will work. 
So do my new rebel hunting mercenary group. As long as I don't get killed. Okay, there's more rebels here. Oh, I can deal with these rebels though. Hopefully. Okay, once these get... Yeah. We'll, we'll kill the rebels in a minute here. Shoots a ton of guys in this war. Actually, like, you know, they've got 44,000 guys total. Because Bahamas family allied to him. He's pretty big. Like, one day before I was going to do the war, too. Just my luck. Right, let's start stating a few things. Okay, they have to deal with the rebels. I That's a win. But we still have more rebels. The Amun's got nothing in that war. I love it. I just completely blocked them off. You you don't get to take anything. I should I should cut them off and go in that way, too. But I have to type Muscovy for that one. Maybe we just fabricate claim and threaten, you know, and dream big. Maybe we should fabricate claims in this guy, though. Like, we're a little split up in this war, definitely, but what did we just lose? The rebels, really? Come on, guys. They had nine guys. Like, they should have beat, they should have won that. Come on. Was it like a bat? Was it like a mountain or something? Probably was. No, it actually wasn't. Okay, I'm gonna grab a stab here. I should be able to get this one guy out of the war. No? He won't do it? Okay, I'll just siege like one or two more provinces and he will. Okay, he'll leave. Can you annul with Delhi? This war is going fine. It's just slowly progressing. I'll grab my thing again. Let's see. Grab Crest Extension Pact, and then I can grab this CCR. Pour out some stuff. I let these guys replenish. I can't believe they actually lost. I hope they can at least take on these guys in the middle here. Three months after they replenish. I'm going to be pushing in here slowly. Unfortunately, like, Bahamas is in here, so eventually I'm going to have to get him out of the war. I actually sieged out Delhi as well. Oh, he sieged out my capital. That's bad. I forgot that was my capital. So I could propagate religion, but I'm not, because I'm actually want to swap religion at some point. That's what I'm thinking. What happened? Did the, okay, the rebels must have fought me. It's great. I, oh, okay. The, he, the rebels are going into the Mamluks, so they'll probably be dealt with by someone else. Kind of nice. The rebels are kind of being dealt with by other nations in some cases, because of my weird borders. Okay, round two, guys. Don't lose again. Oh, no. Oh, no. They lost again. So, come on, guys. Kind of suck. I'm going to have to, like, recruit, like, one or two guys over here to help them. Because they're, they're kind of getting embarrassed by that same, re re you know, that same group of guys. Stupid rebels. And my, meanwhile, my capital is sieged, so that's hurting me a lot for war exhaustion. But he's, like, so sieged. Like, he's basically fully sieged. The rebels are, in fact, coming. I think I gotta get one stack over to help with the rebels. There's too many. Two front war here, guys. Fighting the rebels on one front and these guys on the other. Even though there hasn't really been any major battles in this war. Speaking of, here we go. Did I make it in time? I'm not gonna make it with everyone, so... Okay. We're, we're good. Let's not all stack there. Okay, that's done with. I'm hoping he just unconditionally surrenders if I siege everything he owns. Sometimes that happens in this current patch. Well, the rebels have been dealt with one way or the other. I'm gonna have them deal with this. You guys deal with this. Have fun. I'm gonna fight the war now. I don't guess I don't need these guys. So he's fully sieged. He just has friends that need to be dealt with, which are this guy, which I don't know who it is. Oh, that guy. And then, of course, Bahamas. It's quite annoying. See if he'll just leave. Doesn't not interested in leaving. Now we're going to try to get everyone in there. Okay, big battle here. Five speed battle. <laughs> Big five-speed battle right there, boys. I'm just glad I made my guys. They got in there in time. Okay, rebels. Yeah, the rebels are kind of toxic. Uh, my advisors are too expensive. I gotta maybe. Also, my manpower is taking quite a hit from this war because it has been a costly war. I mean, fighting Bahamas is kind of an annoying situation. We're out of manpower completely. Not good. Ellie lives on. Okay, he'll go home though. No, he won't. He just and he's even high war exhaustion. He won't go home. Come on. He'll probably go home soon. Apparently his leader is a fierce negotiator or something. Oh no, that's the lost battle. For sure, for sure. Why does he have to be a freaking fierce na navigator or whatever? What does he want? I want to go home. He doesn't want anything. Unconditional surrender or nothing. If I siege out one of his forts, I just feel like he's going to kill that stack. He's going to go and fight that. That's my worry. Okay, that's over at least. Okay, he'll go home now. That's great. After he just kills a bunch of my guys. He's satisfied. He can go home. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm good. He got the last laugh. All right, we're gonna get some money out of this guy, I guess. And we can finally end the war with Delhi. Our nice five-year war, since four year, four to five-year war, something like that. Unconditional surrender. So let's see what we can get. Just take that and call it good. That's fine with me. Kind of wanted to move the borders, so he's kind of pushed in inwards. Costly war, but obviously stuff we needed to do. And we still have all the rebels to deal with. Like we have rebels close to enforcing demands. That's bad. We've kind of neglected the rebels. Why can't I build there? I don't have manpower. I see, I see. Better not get demands, damn it. Okay, let's see what's close and forcing. It's gonna be here. Okay, let's see these provinces then. That'll slow that down. They shouldn't get demands. It's fine. Just neglected them for a little bit too long. It'd be expiring. Okay, I don't care. It'd be nice to have like one friend, though, I will admit. 
I wouldn't mind having a single friend. I'm going to dev a little bit more just to help the institution along. Maybe dev in some of these provinces a little bit. Get like 10 dev in each of them. Go a little faster with a little higher dev. It's really getting the institution quite slow. And of course, we're, our nation is kind of just, it's just a rebel simulator over here. No, normal stuff for me. Kind of a rebel sim player. I don't want my religion to be a little unstable, so when I, I can possibly just switch to Hindu really easily. I'm thinking, I, I forget, I need to go look in the, like, it, there's a page it is. The page that tells you the percentage of religion, more or less. It's like charts or something. I'm like, where was that? Don't know. Charts, there it is. Okay. So we're still pretty heavily that, but we're getting, as, as we conquer more in India, we're going to be getting that up more. Oh yeah, the rebels that are enforcing demands. Should have successfully stopped them now. Yeah, we're really getting rebelled right now. Is there are more? I think, okay, we're, we're doing okay on rebels. I need to recover a little bit of manpower before you do the next war anyways. You can get cheaper advisors too, honestly. Like, as much as I want. I mean, I'll take the admin points, I guess, but I just can't afford the others. We're gonna get, I think we're gonna go to admin six and then take out the burger lounge and just get some provinces, some buildings built, basically. I need to seize land. We have, can't I seize land? Oh, because you're controlled provinces in one, okay. Um... All right, anyways, Burger Lounge, I think it's these guys, they did the Janes, yeah. We're just going to take some, you know, time to build some of these, yeah, we got a lot of money from that. We're getting a, getting a lot of money from different these different production buildings. Kind of building up my economy a little bit with that money, but I, got, I want to save some for the institution as well. It's going to be expensive. Hopefully I've saved enough for the institution. I also want to conquer more in India and just, like, manpower might be a problem in a second. And the people have, like, a lot of allies. Every time I fight one of these wars, it's, like, a pretty huge war. And this guy wouldn't be bad. But just the zero manpower is concerning. So my tech kind of sucks too. Institution is annoying. So I have a lot of devs, so it's like not spreading easily. Kind of trying to dev the surrounding provinces. I guess I should. Maybe I should do that. Like I would do the. I would give out privileges, but I'd have to give out or edicts. But I'd have to give out edicts like they're, just, they're not in the state really. Maybe just waiting isn't the worst. So we're eventually gonna get these this institution. So yeah, I think we're just gonna be chilling for a little bit, fighting rebels and recovering manpower. Our manpower is not recovering well because of all the. Rebels. Get rid of the mercenaries. Or we can do without them for now. Really just doing rebel sim now. Exciting stuff. It's the part of the world conquest they don't want you to see. This is the rebel sim. <laughs> but I'll show you guys, don't worry. Where's this? More rebels. Literally just fighting so many rebels. No, that's so annoying. Alright, I think I'm just gonna dive even further for this institution. Oh, I'm at 9.9%. Yeah, I need like one click. Okay, one more click. Now I probably just can't afford it. Yep. Okay, a few more months. In the meantime, I'll get to fight 100 more rebels. They're literally everywhere. This guy is no allies. I need to go. I need to just take this pro these provinces here. Oh my gosh! The nice about India is you get to fight them again. You know, after you get to, you get to fight all their rebels. Oh, this guy's really weak too. I guess I have a truce, but that's pretty free when he's out of truce. Truce is only two years. Standalones. Wait until the institution. This is oh he's attack. I thought that was me. I thought he was going to attack me, but he's going to attack the Mamluks. Oh no! I can't save you, Mamluks. I don't have a claim either. Well, I better build, I need to just build a spy network with for them soon. Build a spy network on the Mamluks, because they're about to get attacked. Can't really save them, but what do you do? When I say save them, I mean save them from being conquered by by the Ottomans, by conquering them first. There goes that war. A few more months on this institution, finally embracing the institution now. I can get mill 7, and I can also get loose ideas going. I think it's a good choice. I think, yeah, I think I want to get to Abin 8, though. And then do the idea. So I was going to seize land, but I forgot to do that. Now I probably can't. Because they're mad. No, I'll just uh, summon the diet, then seize land. There we go. My crown is above 30. Love to see it. Make a little bit more money now. I really just want to take more like Hindu land so I can get the religion that I want. I don't have... Oh, I do have claims, but that's a big... That's a tough war. I don't want to fight that one. This one's easy. Okay. That one's chill. But there's also like, a trillion more rebels to deal with. I haven't fight... I haven't quite, quite fought rebels in every single province yet, so we need to uh, maybe provoke a little bit. It's ridiculous out here. Okay, I can't. No, I can't provoke because I'm standing, apparently. There we go. I'm going to start provoking, I suppose, so we can go to war, because otherwise we're going to be stuck with rebel problems during the war. Got to be... Oh, I'm standing on it. Okay. Kill with all the rebels before this war starts, and then we'll kick it off. So the second I go stand on the province, like, they're not that rebellious. That means a lot of these guys. The second that I, like, stand on the province, they, like, or chill. Maybe I should just hire a national arrest guy. Too expensive. I think I provoked these too soon. No, I didn't. Okay, we're good. This is this is getting a little ridiculous. War taxes here, nice. Terrified literal like hundreds of rebels at this point. Thrilling gameplay. 
Yeah, I can hire a National Unrest guy to see if that helps a little bit. It seems like it's not that bad now. It's just that I really want to get off to this war that looked really good at the time. Now it's been several years of Rebels, so maybe it's not going to look as good. That still looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Start this war. Yeah, my goal is to go Hindu. If I can benefit from, from that monument, get more CCR. But I'm going to need more... Oh, no. Not like this. I forgot I could get cannons too, but those guys are... that. That's unfortunate. No, it's probably mountains. It's always either mountains or hills. They got there too soon. That's not what we needed. We're still marching across this godforsaken place. Taking for us forever. Hill 8 here. That's pretty nice. Can get my... Here we go. Bedding as well. That means my unbalance won't really matter anymore. Pretty nice bonus to have. We're in the second grade power now. We're doing pretty good. I don't have any complaints. For the first time anyways. Not like in compared to what you... You know, mid-max, I'm sure. You guys are going to be like, You're doing well. What do you mean? You're... This is the worst friend I've ever seen. Probably gonna get comments like that. And yet they still watch the video. It's he's sieging out like one province, but meanwhile I'm sieging out his whole nation. So, oh, I guess this is Sin that's doing that. You could probably just go kill this guy's army. Well, I mean, we can't walk there. Start getting these ideas done. Get a nice negative one arrest there as well. So I should have a little bit under, you know, negative arrest going right now. With the advisor on top of that. Oh yeah, the mountains got wrecked. They're getting wrecked by the Ottomans. That's not what we need. We need to cut them off. But now we can't. We need to... to get claims on this guy so we can get down there and start we should guarantee them or something or maybe i'll just do that i'm just gonna guarantee the mamluks i'll do it later colonialism is here okay not not, not too bad as far as base two has been really easy not really any issues so i guess we can run over here now why can't i walk over there oh he has my province so I, okay but i fully see i fully sieged out this guy now this guy is just like dead for free soon if I want to take these provinces. I almost don't because of the religion they are, and I'm already cutting them off from the Ottomans. I wonder if he'll go to war over if the Ottomans will go to war with this guy. He'll have to fight them he'll have to fight Muscovy if he does. I have to go get my fort back. Just unconditionally surrender, please. Be a good guy. Can I like ask for military access here or something? I just need to get to his provinces. I don't care about mine. That's so annoying. That fort is a <laughs> Oh, I'm assaulting this fort, I don't care. Take that. I'll take a breach. So I can siege him and be done with this war. So he'll go home already. I probably should have made manila trees with some people, but whatever. I'm gonna end this war. And let's see. I'm gonna take, I wanna take the, um, like the culture, the, the culture to give CCR. So I'm trying to make sure I get all of those provinces first. So let's take a look. So it's really only, mostly it's not even his provinces that I need. I need these from Delhi and a couple from Malwa. Okay, so I do need like three provinces from him. So of course, I'm gonna take a bunch of provinces, but we're just gonna take whatever we can. What do we want? Mm, yeah, I just think we take whatever. I'm just gonna end the war and take that. I'm gonna delete one of these forts, just two of them stacked together. Oh, I completed a mission on accident, so that's a good deal. Okay, cool. Bunch of claims. Hopefully some claims on Jennifer. Lots of claims. Alright, but he's got a million allies. I wonder if there's like an ally I should grab, maybe like Bahamas. Okay, he hates me though, because my aggressive expansion's pretty high. Yeah, he'll get over it. But I'm thinking, I, it'd be easier if I can fight Jennifer with like an ally or two. Maybe Bangle? Yeah, Bang- Oh, he's only mil 5 though. That's pretty bad. Maybe I call him. Maybe I just get Bangle to help me with him. Then I'll betray Bangle later, as as is what you do. Oh, I got my next government reform. Okay, it's crazy how far down I'm in the reforms, but I'll take and fire the burgers. That's fine. I'm already at, already have eight eight things done by 1501. Is crazy. And once again, out of manpower, wars are taking a bit of a toll on that. How can I attack Delhi again? I feel like I just want to focus on India pretty hard, especially with like how I've stacked across expansion impact. I can kind of afford to do that. I just, he's only mil 5, I'm just looking at that, I'm like, that's so free. And I think by getting my religious problem, like, I'm trying to get, so I'm mostly Hindu, so I can switch to that. So obviously I can, okay, that's not the right religion, this one. <laughs> 23%. So I just need to get rid of some of the, I'm 45% of that, so I just need, I want to be like, you know, the highest percent should be that. So I might just wait for this truce, and then go to war with Delhi at that point. Maybe I'll get improved relations advisor, just for a little bit of help with the AE problem. I also could attack Janapur though, but I do want, I want that 10% that CCR, so I, I need to attack, definitely need to attack Molten, I know that. Also, I could just vassalize him. No. Oh, I should carry favors with this guy, too. He's actually my religion, isn't he? Technically. Make a good bit of money. Just need to pay off my loans and kind of, you know, get going there. So I'm just going to wait for this truce, September 1503, that should be, shouldn't be long. I really want to add some cannons to my armies, at least like one cannon in each group, maybe? So I know that if you just like even one cannon, it helps a bit. A bit. Maybe I'll just add like one in for now to each group. Which seems like a reasonable choice. Okay, my truce with Delhi is over. I wonder if Bengal would help. But he would help against Jennifer. 
Yeah, he would. And that his help will be very useful. I want to get that CCR for sure. So how do we... Yeah, we... It's either going to be Delhi or Bengal. Too bad Bahamas is allied to him. It's unfortunate. He's just a little bit of, of a nuisance to deal with. Who's this guy? Yeah, I'm probably just going to... I don't know, maybe we do attack Jennifer though. Because Jennifer does have a ton of the problems that I need to. If you look at this, yeah, he's got like most of the ones I need. He's got a bunch. But Delhi has, you know, the rest. So, if, yeah, maybe we, we have to attack both of them either way. Get ready to go to war with him. We can get nice. Diaz are coming along. I guess we can get Miltech 9, even though we're you know, paying a little. Yeah, well, you have Miltech 9. So we're like doing super well in military. We're just super unbalanced. But luckily, we have the. Because we have espionage, we can actually do, afford to do that because of this thing. But I, I bet Military 9 is going to crush his Military 5. Even these guys' Military 6 is probably going to get... These guys are going to start to get crushed by my Military. But I'm so far above them. Oh, the Rebels are all going to be here, though. As per uh, normal. I guess I should provoke. Man, I just want to be able to fight without having to go to, to war with the Rebels in between. But let's just provoke and deal with them. I just honestly might just lower autonomy to not deal with these guys. Oh, that makes a lot of money in that province, though. Damn it. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to take the hit. I know it's bad, but I don't want to march all the way over there to deal with them. I'm fine with just dealing with them once over here. I don't really want to recommend lowering or increasing autonomy, but sometimes it's just ridiculous how far they want me to march. They're going to just stand these provinces and they won't revolt anymore. Not quite. Okay, we're going to go to war with Jennifer, though. Call in Bangle. Let's make it a, something that's easy. There we go. Let me get a diplomat, and then let's do this. It should be vastly superior in military to these guys, so I imagine it won't be that hard. Build some more buildings here. We're actually getting... a well, let's pay for loans, actually. Then we can build a few buildings. Build some trade buildings just a bit here. Oh, we got our... These things seem to pop together. The appropriation cost and the... I can't imagine this war will be very difficult. Although there is people coming from above me. Maybe I'll kill off, like, two of these groups to deal with them. I war with... I don't know. Some weird OPMs or something. I'm actually at war with this guy. I actually need his province. So maybe I'll just go murder him. Definitely, we were like, I'm, I'm at zero manpower when I'm starting this war, though. It's only on the bad side. I'm going to go ahead and use this interaction to debase currency, and then I can click here to reduce that corruption. Very nice. I could build a... Let's build a few trade buildings out of out of that. I don't want to that. So I actually can't take that problem, so that's frustrating. So I need it to uh, DCR, but oh well. So let's just go ahead and white beast this guy if I can't take that province. Short, short of truce. Hunting accident. Feels bad, man. See if I can get this other guy out of the war. Kurjat. Sure, white beast is fine. So who else is in here? Gotti and whoever else this guy is. Nagur. I really want to go all the way over here, though. I guess so. Just gonna see that before I get there, 100%. It's not 28, it's 100. Oh, please. It's only 42. You you win these. I mean, you don't win these. Oh, wow. That is lucky. I usually don't get that kind of luck. It's only because it's a video, guys. That wouldn't happen to you. Okay. Don't be unrealistic. It doesn't happen in the real game. Only in, only in YouTube videos. Let's make sure we get what we need here in this war. So, we'll go to the culture map mode. I even think we can take everything we need in one war, actually. I don't even know if it's possible. So we know we need these. Yeah, we don't have to do two wars to even get what we need from culture. Okay, those two. Then yeah, there's no way. There's no way we're getting everything we need. But we can make we can make a nice circle around everything we need at least. So I guess it's easier to know what we need next time. So I'm just gonna end this war. Take that, I guess. And we kind of surrounded everything we need. Fortunately, we cannot take all that we need. We are trying to make our way towards that assimilating that culture. It's this one. So we're 64% of the way there. We're also getting probably a lot of Hindu provinces, which we want. We're gonna we're gonna convert to Hindu at some point. Once our once our um yeah, what are our charts looking like? We're getting there. Close to close to 30%. We just have to take more and more. So that way we could just easily get it. Easily can force convert ourselves. Let's just go to war with him now. I wish he would help me. It's so sad. But yeah, we're gonna go to war with Delhi here. Jump into that. It shouldn't be very difficult. We do have to fight Bahamas. Gotta be a little bit careful, but it shouldn't be too bad. We have, yeah, one stack way over here. So let's, just, you know, we're just gonna start sieging up. Maybe we should, we, pre yeah, we should probably go for Bahamas early so we get out of the war sooner. Because last time we, like, okay, we're, we're always fighting this guy. He's so annoying. <laughs> let's just get the, let's get the allies out first. I almost want this province, but just look, so, well, I don't need it. I need to be able to get this province. I know it's one of the ones I need. It is, it is a little, uh, yeah, a little time so we can go track down all this. With all this guy's cult, you know, all the culture for the CCR. So we were been kind of hunting for that 10% CCR. Can you guys kill the rebels? I don't really want to. Surely you can. But how do I only have one? A full artillery regiment for each fort level. 
All right, finishing. Yeah, get my espionage ideas done. That's nice. Keep our idea cost. Seems good. Bahamas' capital is what? I think it's Bayadar, if I remember right. Oh, yeah, you can look if you scroll in. For guys who didn't know, there's a little, like, crown on the flag. I didn't know that, but one of my viewers pointed it out to me. I'm just kind of going for these uh, other guys in this war. So if I siege out his allies, then it'll, I think it'll just be faster. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do, is just siege out at least Sand and the other guy. Who's the other? I think I need that province. No, I don't. The rebels are coming, though. That's for sure. I, I never have any manpower to fight these wars. Definitely have some manpower issues with this nation. Maybe the mercenaries need to be here. All right, will he go home or he, no? He, he's actually pretty close. I probably don't need to go for his fort, just like some other things. And he'll leave. There we go, I'll just white piece him. And that's the majority of the war over. And then I'm gonna just peace out this guy. I mean, I've, I've tried to make him into the trees with Dali like a hundred times, but he keeps re -alling. But this time I'll, you know, I'll do it better. We got his allies out, so that's pretty nice. Kind of just focus on that first. I'm just gonna run in and kill him here. Better not win that at 14%. That was the easy stack wipe. Yeah, I can probably end the war here. I'm just kind of just kind of looking at what I can take and what I need to take. So let's look at that culture map again. So we need all of these, like kind of this blue color ones. So it's going to be these provinces here, mostly, that we need. Of course, we're going to take everything I can, but we're just going to start by taking... We need to take this province, I believe. Okay, so we're just going to take this and end the war. Coalition's not really a problem because we are stacking aggressive expansion impact. So that looks good. We're going to be fighting rebels, as this is a rebel sim. And basically, we're going to have to fight Jennifer one more time to, to finish this off, is kind of what I'm thinking. To, to finish this culture group off, rather. We're at 78%, 33, so we, we need nine more provinces. And it's going to be, I think, see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's the ninth one? What am I missing? It would be. Oh, I need Molten and Cinda. So I need to attack this guy. All right, well, that means we got basically two more wars to do until we can get that going. Is there anyone else I can attack in the meantime? I don't really, I don't think so. Bruce with Muggles, 15-15. We got 15-15, 15-25. We can attack this guy pretty soon, though. So we're probably going to do that relatively soon. Kind of pushing into India the best we can. Kind of just hard focusing on India. Normally I would spread out my conquest, but because I've stacked the Grass Expansion Impact, it's kind of just not a big deal to just focus on India and just, you know, hard tunnel into it. Okay, I can use my interaction again, so let's debase. Oh, yeah, let's, that's fine. Just debase. And then... Fix it up. I guess importantly, we're all we're also trying to look at this chart here. So we're slowly pushing that Hindu up further and further. Of course, we need to get that to like fifty percent or something, so we can force that to be a religion. Basically, every time we take a province down here, that's like progress towards being able to switch our religion. And we know what that stability drop was for. It's rebel sim time as well. Unfortunately, you know, you you go back and forth between playing Europa and Rebel Sim, but it is now time for me to play Rebel Sim once again. I'm going to guarantee the Mamluks so that the Ottomans don't go for him anymore. I'm also going to guarantee a Murdy, maybe. Ooh, Muscovy wouldn't join right now. I should probably go attack him, actually. Who's he allied to? Or Korra? I just don't have the manpower to deal with that right now, but I really should. I, I need to cut off the Ottomans to make sure they don't do anything. We have to slow him down at any at, as much as we can. All right, the Age of Reformation is here. Fine. Of course, Korkos versus other religion could be pretty nice, too, when I can get that. I don't have any objective done, though. I mean, once I'll get, I'll get religious. Could convert. I don't want to... I don't want to convert anything though because i still am on my highest percentage to be hindu i only need like another 10 percent and i'm actually able to, to do that it's like i don't want to conquer anything else that's not hindu though that's what i'm thinking so we can attack malwa soon four years what was the i swear we could attack someone sooner than that I mean, these guys are hindu as well we'll take it you know maybe a quick war with these guys could be good but i like to coblish right i can just coblish right all these little guys no, i don't really need to i'll just take them anyways Kind of crushing India anyways. They're not really, uh, they're not able to go into a coalition because they're too small. Or the people, they, they can't see around them. So we'll call Kobolujri Zidar. Kind of just want to Kobolujri all of them. I, I want to fight Mawa separately though, so. Here we'll call him Bangle, why not? I just went into this war here. Really shouldn't be that difficult of a war. I, I'm low on manpower, it's per usual when I start wars, but just whatever. I'm used to being low on manpower at this point. I really just want these provinces so, so I have more Hindu provinces at the end of the day. And, uh, I'm gonna... Get some more trade buildings going. I like to do anything above two, as it feels worth it. I guess I could may have to consider courthouses soon. I think I'm close to Gup Gap. That's probably true. Where is that great project, by the way? The one I I, I want. Dang it, I was one away from taking it. We'll get. We'll grab it the next floor. Jeez, they're passing some reforms. They got the fourth reform down by 1512. The AI. That's actually pretty nuts. And rebels. That's also nuts. What is this again? 
Mm, they want me to dev it, I can't, not sure. If, I need to seize land more, there's that one objective here that's, like, yeah. So I have enough dev. Am I above? No. I am fine, I'm not above dev cap, we're, we're well within reason. So I need to hit this, I have a little imbalance there, but well, that'll fix that. I think once we go to War Janiper, we're gonna be, or it's, I don't know how to say, Janper? Gonna be in a good spot anyways when we do decide to war with him. See, no one in India is really that strong. I mean, a coalition would still be a problem, so I'm glad that I don't have to deal with those, really. Yeah, I think I'm, I could probably just end this war. I'm going to take all the, these provinces here. I'll leave this one because I'm not co belligerated. Take some money and call it good. That adds a couple of Hindu provinces to our nation. Is Hindu? Are these even Hindu? Okay, they were. But these aren't. I don't even want to attack him. Yeah, we're getting close. 33% to 40%. We're the closest to getting this this one assimilated. Or the, yeah, this culture group assimilated. That's, that can't happen until nine years, though, so we're kind of... What can we do? Attack Mawa, eventually. Sindh is in... 1515. Okay, we could do that soon. There's Ali to Mawa, so that's kind of annoying. We also need to attack this guy. Oh, we don't even have a truce. We could attack him, but we... No, nah, if we can't couple of it's not worth it, I don't think. Although, that would that would make that a lot sooner, wouldn't it? Eh, it's not worth it. We'll just wait. We're patient. Though, I don't really need to attack Mawa, so maybe, maybe I just attack this guy here. When, when the truce is up in September of next year. Of course, we have Rebels. We could, you know, we could let our manpower cover more than it has in the past. Kind of haven't really been ever not doing anything. We're always, we're always kind of looking for the next war. So it's all, okay, well, there actually some, now I'm looking at him, like, I don't really want to attack him. He's got a lot of Sunni provinces and not that many Hindu, but I'd rather wait for this war and then, yeah. Really just, we're, we're really just trying to push for that religion swap. Bengal is requesting that he, I guess, I don't want to fight Delhi though. Do I just say no? I think it might just be a no, a saying no here. Yeah, I'm gonna say no. I'm not going to your frivolous war. Sorry, buddy. You'll, you'll be dead too. You'll be dead next, anyways. It, it's glad. I'm glad that you helped me fight your guy one time. So really, yeah, because I'm not gonna. I don't want. Uh, yeah, this guy's the only person I really want to attack. Want to wait for until I can couple of raids. So there really isn't a lot going on right now, except rebels. We need to seize land here. Let's do that. Do this mission here we kind of have neglected. Should probably dev the institution a bit now. Because yeah, I'm gonna run into that problem soon. I'm like paying 30% more already. I probably should just dev for it. Could do that. But dev in a similar spot actually it'd be nice too. We'll work on that. We're gonna we're gonna dev for its linealism. It's so expensive. I probably should have dev a different province than the same one again, but it's also surrounded by high dev stuff, so it'll spread faster that way. That's the reason I'm doing that. Probably not the best way to do it, but it is a way to do it. It is 174. I'm actually going to drop that down a little bit. 168 to dev each time. A little a little pricey, but it does give quite a high percentage of the institution at once, I suppose. I think it's fine to just hang out for a bit, though. I don't mind. We're 80% of the way there, so we just need probably a click or two more. You gain conquest against Bengal, because oh, you took provinces from Jennifer. Delhi is getting sieged by Mala. When's my choice with Mala up? Oh, what is that? We'd have to fight Bengal. I mean, I probably should just do that. I'll do it in a minute. I'm gonna finish dabbing this stuff first. I'm not. I don't. I'm not in any rush. It's still gonna be two dev clicks more, and that's a lot of points. But we're gonna be able to spread this institution real fast. All right, do our normal corruption thing here with our little very nice. We need to find a. There we go. No, just I could probably afford better advisors, but we're saving for the institution. We will start spreading around to our nearby provinces, and we should be able to probably embrace it. it spreads to our surrounding provinces. We might consider attacking Mawa now. Our manpower is looking pretty good. Even even our rebel situation is somewhat okay. You know, after some provoking, we could probably go to this next war. I think, yes. Okay. Yeah, Jennifer is still a few years out, in truth. Three years out or so. So it might be Mawa time. We're going to have to fight in Bengal, which is fine. Yeah, I probably should just do it. Yes, I think that's the, that's the way. Get all our guys back in position. We're still guaranteeing the Mamluks, so the Ottomans haven't really been able to... Ooh, they, they, they got... They attacked Russia and I wasn't paying attention. Come on, Muscovy. I need to attack the Ottomans soon, probably. But I wanted to kind of get this wrapped up first. Even though I can't really ever wrap them up entirely. Let's build another unit. Mm, no, we're fine for now. Let's attack Malwa here. That's fine. Let's, let's go ahead and attack Malwa. More Hindu provinces. Sounds good to me. I want to co belligerate this guy for once. No, it's fine. I, I don't care. In fact, we should probably just get him out of the war again. So let's let's do our kind of traditional targeting the allies first. We're not going to get access through there, are we? Well, maybe we get access through here. I mean, somehow Janiper's going to 
Like, Jennifer will get access, so I'll, so I'll have access eventually, I would imagine. Yeah, there we go. This capital is, like, I don't even know where. Um, it's probably called Janiper. Or this isn't Janiper, this is Bengal. I feel like this capital is, like, I don't even know. Let's look at this close map so you can see us. I'm sure, surely it's, like, the most inconvenient place, I'm sure. But I can't tell where. This one. Okay, it's actually not that far. Can we just go straight for its capital? Okay, yeah, we're just gonna straight for its capital. And yeah, if we can get those two guys out of the war fast, it'll be easier. But we don't want him to siege Delhi. Don't siege Delhi. That's rude. I need more cannons so I can actually assault. Or not, yeah, barrage at least. Three armies are all occupied right now. Shun Dynasty is emerged. That's actually relevant to me somewhat, probably. Because that means Ming's a lot weaker now. Oh my gosh, some gigantic rebellion. She's gonna, she's going after my capital, which is bad. No! Why didn't I move my capital by now? Capital shouldn't even be anywhere near there. And maybe I shouldn't let them siege my capital, actually. Okay, I won that battle. Yeah, I can't stop the siege of the capital, though. Once I get some more guys. Could try. I don't think it'd be... Okay, there we go. We'll send guys over here. Okay, he siege it out anyways. Not much you can do about it. Okay, well, we're gonna take the battle. There we go. Okay, we got Bengal pretty siege. Maybe he'll just go. Yeah, he will. Well, let's make him a null treaties with... Can I take them all on this war? Really not. No. So, maybe, yeah, maybe we'll just make... Bengal and treaties with Mawa. Some money. And then the other guy is probably about ready to leave too. I, I didn't actually... Oh, I'm not fighting... Okay, that's the next war. I was getting ahead of myself. See if that guy wants to go home actually. Send? No, he doesn't yet. I've got to have his other province siege, so it's fine. I wonder where the war goes. We should take it. Adjur okay, this one. Get over there. I want a soul, but it, yeah, I can't really do that. I've got to take my capital back though, apparently. That I was like a hair late to getting to in time. There we go. Definitely on our way to winning this war, just gonna take a little bit of time. Let's see if we can get there before he's used up. Certainly not, probably. Come on, no. Lame. Okay, whatever. I've been sieging this fort for so long, it's crazy that 35% is just internally a failure. I'm gonna see how long the siege is after this. 877 days. 877 days! Good hell. Okay, well, we can peace out that guy at least. We're gonna pretend like we can make window treaties with Malwa, but he'll probably just re ally like he always does. Okay, we're just gonna end, you know, just kind of wrap up this war here. It's a bit of an annoying one, but we have more, we have bigger fish to fry. So we kind of just want to go to the next war. I, I, I'm like mentally in the next war already. But this war is important for getting more provinces that are Hindu. We shall collect all the Hindu provinces. We have so much, you know, I actually like the idea of saving our money though, because we can get that great project really soon. And maybe we can just like, you know, make that all happen immediately. You never know. I might push for that great, that great project pretty fast. Okay, one more siege is out and we can, well, like, let's... Yeah, we can probably end it soon, if it ever sieges. Like, this guy will leave. Yeah, we could definitely end the war now. Yeah, I'm just trying to take, like, a bunch of Hindu provinces. I barely, I really don't care what they are. Give me all the Hindu provinces, please. Thank you. Yeah, we're trying to get that. Oh, yeah. Okay, we actually have a majority of Hindu now. So that's pretty nice. We're not going to force convert yet, though. Not really a purpose. We don't have the great project anyways. So let's go ahead and declare war with John Purr. John Purr, however you say it. How's our institution going? It's spreading. It, it'll get there. It definitely will get there. It's actually right around the corner. I guess that's gonna be a lot of money too. Anyways, so let's let's go over with this guy. We're gonna co-belligerate this guy. Molten, is it? Go ahead and go for it. Who else is in it? Bunch of people that aren't really that powerful. Okay, he's already at war with somebody else. All right, well, we're just gonna do the classic of getting the other people out of the war. So we need to get that guy out of the war. We need to get Gotti out of the war, which means we gotta send a guy to his capital again. Get a couple people out of the war and then we should be fine. We got our institutions coming along too. Any day now. No one just wants to go home right now, right? We're dreaming. Alright. Maybe he'll just leave, go for a quick leave. Gurge that? Not yet. Once that sieges he'll leave. That's gonna be reinforced. Um uh, maybe I'm just that good though. He's he's struggling. We're also gonna get Chigadi out pretty easily, I think. Okay. Gurja. Is that him? Yeah, okay, he'll go home. White peace, that's fine. But one down. Really, it's just Chigati, and then we're just kind of going for him that, after that. So we're actually, gonna, we're going to take that guy's province over there. Definitely going to take that for our own. What? Who did I just siege? Which one's the one I need? Hold, hold on, guys. Which one was the one I actually needed? Did I couple of the wrong person? No, I, no, no, never mind. This guy's a different person. Just get war with some money, trade pony. Okay, we got to grab these two things again. It's the time of the month. Oh, yeah. Let's see if that war, like, you can end with this guy. No, it wasn't enough for him. Okay, well, let's continue to siege him out, I guess. I don't know why he's not willing to leave, but he's feeling good at 31%. One more province and he should be gone. So we're basically down to just, like, Jennifer and, I don't know, one other guy or something. It's not going to be too hard. We are dealing with a few rebels in the meantime. We're, like, deadly close to this institution, too. 
So maybe we just dev something. What is that? 9.9% 9, 9 again, huh? All right, let's just dev a little bit. There we go. Embrace institution now. Commonwealths are a thing. Okay, interesting. I am the number one great power, though. So that is pretty cool. And I could mostly, maybe I could just end the war now. No, I need that Molten province, though. He won't give it to me, though. He's, he's, okay, now he will. So end the war with Molten, just take that province. I know I need that one. And then, there actually is, oh, I need the province from Sint. I've totally forgot. I should have taken it from him because now there's a like, truce. Oh no. Well, it's two years truce, whatever. So I'm pretty sure he has one province in that in that um that culture that I need, if I remember right. Yeah, he has that one province over there. Damn it. Okay, whatever. We'll get there. Well, let's maybe we can end this war now. We know we need these. Oh no. We can't even take. I'm like, when is this thing? No, not even close. <laughs> they could take it a lot of wars to get all these provinces. Maybe I needed to take diplomatic ideas so it could be less wars. Okay. Well. Okay, let's look at the culture again. So we pretty much needed... So we need these two and these two. And we need, like, all of these. And we can't even take that. Shoot. Well, it is what it is, I guess. I'm taking this, though. Then, at least. So I can't... So I basically I have to do another war with them. No matter what. So I'm gonna take probably the, these and this. I was hoping that, that I could do this in one war. All the rebels are coming. Alright, so I'm gonna end this war. Take... I'm gonna grab this for the Great Project and just these. I wanted... I, I'm, I'm still trying to get towards that, you know, CCR for being having that culture but it's taking some time to grab all those provinces so right now we have three provinces to go it's gonna be what just these two and then this one so we're not quite there we're getting there although we may go ahead and change our religion that's something i want to do maybe if i just like go like this hoping it just says i'll get rebels to convert by doing that wait a month let's see if i do yes there we go here it comes the new state religion Okay, perfect. So I'm just gonna go ahead and accept these demands, become Hindu, basically. And I probably wanna... Oh, I, I, I made my goal kind of far. Let's go up to 50. Oh no, I need more equilibrium here. Let's get some more equilibrium somehow. Maybe I could just do the indebted to them. No, that doesn't give loyalty. What gives loyalty? I guess we could do this. Sure, I just need this a little... I need a little bit more equilibrium. So now we should be able to... Yeah, we should be able to upgrade this great project. Hey, we get 5% CCR, even for rank 1, so let's do that. I shouldn't waste my manpower there, that was a choice. I don't have manpower to waste, but okay, we are getting the first, we, so we are getting 5% CCR. Oh, is that the one that I was struggling with too? No. James. So we do need to pick a deity as well. I think there, yeah, the quarter, there's a, this Shiva deity that gives us an extra 10% CCR. So now we're like, our CCR is correct, probably. It's pretty good, I mean, it's not like, once I get this, it'll help as well. well what is our CCR? Let's take a look. So now it is, or creation cost, negative 32, oh, I'm war exhausted, I see. I just want to, like, reduce it just so I can see what it really is. That was a waste of my points, but, you know. Oh, yeah, we got an institution, too. So we're chilling. We're actually doing not bad. What is our... What did we lose the government reform? Our first tier? We can just take that autocracy again? What is our CCR really, then? Go down, like, a month or two? I'm sure it's much higher than that. Procreation costs. 45... It should be 45%, or is it really just 44.7? It's just a weird number. It should be 45, I think. Why is it saying that? Even the, even the numbers here don't, they, they they add up to 45, but it's being weird. Okay, that's fine. So if we go Avon is our third. We're, we're actually going to be like, in, have insane CCR. It's going to be fun. I can see why World Conquest would be nice, because you can just have like, max core creation cost. But I am actually over my gov cap as well. I didn't realize that at the time. Probably got some more risk expansion than I needed to. But like, with, with, that, with that espionage, you can just conquer endlessly and you, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know. But I'm probably going to grant, like, I don't have Crown Land to do that, though. Right now, right now. Oh, I can start converting my religion now. Like, or my religion. <laughs> converting my religion. Can't claim until it's all reason him is... Okay, we're not allowed to have Defender of the Faith. But we... That's fine. I am... I, I am happy with where we are. I think that's a good wrapping up spot for today. I hope you guys are enjoying this run. I'm I'm enjoying it. I've never played these guys, and they, they're just absolutely cracked. I'm probably not playing them optimally. I apologize. I'm sure I'll get some flame in the comments, but... I hope you guys are enjoying... If you are, please consider subscribing, liking the video, it all helps. And thanks for watching, and have a good day.